Hey guys and welcome to a new video. I will be participating in the rainbow challenge because I've been called out by one of the users on my Funko Amino level 100 nerd to do it. Basically the rainbow challenge is you take a pop that is corresponding to the color in the rainbow and you have to find the pop that pretty much is the most color of it. Like just because a pop has a little bit of red doesn't make it red. It has to be completely that color as much as you can. So let's get started right away. Alright guys, first color we're going to talk about is pink. we got D.Va with the mech here. I've already previously showed this in the, my Q&A, but I just want to show it up a little bit up closer. Pop is absolutely great. I love the details all around it. I also love how it opens up and there's like a little mini pop in there, which is D.Va herself. Very, very, very nice figure. Um, unfortunately, it is pretty expensive. It's like $25. Uh, but that's because, you know, it's technically two pops in one. So, But yeah, this thing is absolutely awesome and it's great for any Overwatch fan. Next is purple. Uh, this is a pop I haven't shown on the channel yet, but there's a good reason why I haven't shown it yet. Um, yeah, uh, the flocking is pretty terrible. I managed to find the fooper, only one fooper at Kohl's, and the flocking is not the greatest. I mean, I've, there's plenty more worse out there, but uh, yeah, it's pretty messy. But it's still very pretty to look at. As you can see, it's like a light purplish kind of color uh, with a little bit of pink blending in. So there you go. Now, I have plenty of blue pops in my collection, but I'll go with Lapis from Steven Universe. Very nice design on the wings there. I love how the water is translucent. Very, very nice. She's actually getting pretty pricey now. She's worth like $25. So if you guys still want one, uh, I, I suggest to hurry up and get one before it gets really hard to find. Next color is a light blue. I decided to pick Sully from Monsters, Inc. This is the remake, not the original that looks like Nightmare Fuel. This is the much better looking version. Just came out earlier this year. Uh, very cute figurine for anyone who's a big fan of Monsters, Inc. Highly recommend it for any Disney lovers, or Pixar lovers. Next up is a green. We've got Disgust from Inside Out. The whole Inside Out set is pretty rare now, as most of them got vaulted and stuff. Uh, I got Disgust about a couple years ago for about $15. Uh, even at the time, she was kind of rare, so... Yeah. I love her sassy pose. It really captures her look. I love that they gave her a mouth. It's a very funny pop. She doesn't stand too well. Um, I wish they had given her a stand because, she, yeah, she's a little top-heavy. Uh, but still a very nice pop overall. I like it a lot. And now we're into yellow, guys. For yellow, we've got The Bride from Kill Bill. Super rare pop right here. This thing is worth about $60. I got it off eBay last year for $30. Uh, the box is not the greatest of shape, but hey, you know, I love this movie, so I definitely need this in my collection. And the pop looks great. We are now into orange, guys. For orange, we've got Orange Bird right here. The Disney Park Springs exclusive. I like to keep it in the... Uh, protector so I'm not gonna take it out but yeah it's a very rare pop now very hard to get I got it for my birthday last year for 30 bucks on eBay because I don't live in Florida so I can't uh, you know have easy access to this, to this kind of stuff so and there's a diamond exclusive coming out for Hot Topic soon too so if you guys want that be on the lookout for it soon we're down to red guys the final color I choose Jafar as the genie as you see he's red almost all over he looks fantastic looking Unfortunately, this guy is very cheap, like nobody wants him for some reason. Uh, the glow in the door chase is pretty cool too, but this is just a common. Uh, very nice pop. I really like it a lot. It captures the evilness of Jafar perfectly. As for reference, guys, uh, this is the image I used. I went from left to right, obviously. And I challenge Power Up Collectibles to do the same challenge. Basically, you guys do exactly what I did. Just, you know, take a pop of the color and make sure that the color encapsulates the entire pop, not just like a little bit on the side or something. Um, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.